So this project is OpenTag. Um, essentially what we're trying to do is create an open source, so this open software and open hardware uh, animal tag specifically for marine animals. So we had discussions with a lot of the professors down at the Duke Marine Lab and realized that cost was a prohibitive factor in a lot of research studies. We applied to an entrepreneurship grant uh, from the Nicholas School of the Environment and essentially now we have funding to develop this tag to a commercial level. It'll be the first tag that's completely wireless. So wireless charging and wireless data offload. Another big component of this project is that the tag is modular. Essentially we've got a base unit and from that we can add different layers, whether it be acoustics, IMU, so that's orientation of the animal. A whole wide variety of things that would allow us to cut costs because we don't have a, a tag that has all of these different expensive sensors on it. So there's a few different parts of this project. Software interacts with the PCB, PCB being like that physical electronics and then that physical electronics are housed inside the housing and then one of the important components that is going to have to be custom designed for this project because it doesn't exist right now is actually the R box. A PCB is a printed circuit board. I am in charge of essentially making the physical components that the software runs on. This involves a lot of different um, design considerations making sure the noise is reduced within the system making sure that um, power is distributed in an efficient manner. It also involves making sure that we use the right chips so that we actually are a cost efficient option as well as a reliable option. For the mechanical design of the housing, we have to consider three factors. Firstly, the attachment of the tag is going to focus on suction cups for the majority of use cases. Secondly, the tag needs a release mechanism to pop off the animal. We want to have as few moving mechanical parts as possible since the tag will be operating at pressures found 3,000 meters below sea level. Finally is the general housing of the tag. Right now we're in the prototyping phase where we're working to create the most functional and reliable tag we can make. So we designed for a symmetrical and aerodynamic design of the tag that lies as close to the animal's skin as possible. That way we can reduce the amount of static pressure pushing against the front of the tag and reducing the amount of water under the tag trying to pop it off the animal's skin. So the great thing about the open tag and the suction cup attachment is that it's non-invasive, so it will not require us to puncture the skin of any of the animals. Typically, tags like this have been deployed on cetaceans, so things like whales and dolphins, but something that we're trying to do here is open it up to sharks. And so that proposes a little bit of difficulty and they have something called denticles that cover their skin. And so that doesn't allow the suction cup to be flush against their skin. So something that we're working on is using different adhesives on the suction cups to see what will keep the tag attached to the skin the best. Reflective pulse oximetry uses light of different wavelengths to measure um, oxygen saturation of the blood. So hemoglobin is a protein found in the blood that enables um, red blood cells to carry oxygen throughout the circulatory system. So in the tag unit, we will have an RPOX component which shines different wavelengths of light. This light will hit the blood, reflect off of the hemoglobin, and back to the photodiode. And based on the measurements we get from the photodiode, we can calculate not only oxygen saturation, but the variation in oxygen saturation gives us a proxy for heart rate. If the RPOX unit does function at depth, it would be the first time ever to track something like heart rate in a diving station. Because this is open source and because we believe that this can be priced at a much lower price point than anything else out there right now, we'll be able to get this tag into the hands of people that have never been able to have access to tags. That they might be in developing countries, they might be studying species that in the past had not been considered valuable enough to actually tag. So we're really opening up a completely new sector in the tag area.